Yep, back out again. Uh, and then this time we're in the village of England with Rab. Hello. We'll call him Stiff Neck Rab. <laughs> and there's Say Tears Dumbo. <laughs> and I'm Say, I'm Say Knees Weedle. <laughs> so that's the Great Heather Path up that way. That's where I mean Mr. Stoker were when we bailed out. I'll just put in like a little disclaimer that he was well that day, you know. He was ill. And when we got to the top in that wind and all that, I could tell he wasn't reached. So that's partly why we bailed. The 70 mile an hour gusts was the other reason. We're heading along this track here for about a mile, two mile maybe. And then we're just going to go up onto the Cheviot. Uh, forecast dead windy again. Um, it's forecast to be dry, but it's not looking dry weather. It, it looks cloudy, doesn't it? I don't know, it might pass over. That's the thing when it's windy, the weather changes quick because it blows all the clouds everywhere. But there is blue sky peeking through. Aye, so we'll get a move on, we'll get going. Good news is GoPro has been shipped and it should be arriving on Monday. So next video after this, be back on the GoPro, I think. But I still keep this camcorder because it's good for it's good for uh, long range. Good for zooming in and zooming out again. Right. So, we've walked about a mile and a half, easy walk, look at that, I already drove through the ford. Um, that's where we're headed, up there, we'll pick it up, right up there, this is Braden Crags, but it's a long way. And it looks mighty steep. Mighty steep. So we'll, uh, we'll get so far along, start going up. That's when, it, that's when it hurts. The wind's picking up as well. It's going to be wild this. But you know, I've got to prove something. I've got a point to prove with this wind that it can be done. And like I say, it's a north wind. It's, might get shelter behind the crags and it's from it's not changing direction either so that's all right we'll see how we get on this is called Dunsdale crag looks like a good uh, mountaineer training Huge. Mm. So anyway, we're along that road now. We're going to head up, start climbing now. So we'll start get a bit of a sugar rush with the jelly babies on. Give it a bit of energy. Because it looks like really steep. And hopefully, get the tents pitched and then down the rook for the plane crash. Really slippery. Look at that. I'm not dinner for ages either. I might not. Look at that. I mean, it's soaked out. <laughs> <laughs> Nick walks them for fucking ages either. Nick, you know he's. Well, that was uh, treacherous. Which we were nearly killed there. Slipped, we were nearly killed. Could you think the bridge, like? Well, there is a bridge there, but. <laughs> We're not, we're adventurous, man. <laughs> we're survivors. It's a bit windy. Woo!
here. Rob there we moved out. Rob was right in the wind here. Just here it was dead windy and over there it's not too bad. It's still blowing like I'm just here. Just checking the wind speed. That was the maximum gust there just around the corner. 37. So it is windy. Mark's me over there. We're just gonna go and have a wander across there now. There he is, because we think this is the crash site. And get all wistful. Canny, canny views. We knew it was going to be windy. Maybe it's a north wind and it's not going to change direction, so we should be alright. Now we've pitched. So you, get up, you get trouble when the wind changes direction and it starts caving your tent in. But we've set these up quite well. I mean, that's standing firm, that way, solid. Alright, so let's go and have a look over there, see what we can see. Might be interesting. Dries and again, and as I said about that last week, it's lovely that very refreshing. Jake Head Clairvoyance Brew Dog OG Clairvoyance and the Transient, all from Morrison's, apart from them two, they were from Rehills. Rehills, Morrison's. I've got some more in the house from Rehills, but the special, these two are not getting them. <laughs> and for me, tea. I've got a wayfarer's meal. They've changed the packaging on me. Chicken, tikka and rice, but um, the breakfast me and Rob had this morning, I don't think I'm going to have this. Well, I might. I may have it later on. Give me a little stuff. But it's beer o'clock now, so we're going we're gonna to nestle it in the crags there. Nice and sheltered. We'll get a nice little seat made 
out of these because round the corner there is when I was taking that wind before it was 30 odd mile an hour. But that's, this is out of it, that's what you want, big crag like that to get out the wind, it's spot on like. Always check the wind direction and always check the, check the weather conditions. So we knew the weather was there, the wind was going to be northerly wind. And we had a good idea that these crags were here. Because we've been looking on YouTube, some video on YouTube when the lad was camping and he was walking around them. And I thought, yeah, well, if he's walking around them, there must be other sides. Yeah, sure enough. Look at them rolling hills. So it's just starting to go down. They just go forever, them hills. Like. You can imagine when that plane crashed. And the, um, there were some survivors, like. But they're crashing over there, and it was cloudy. So the clouds down, it was dark. So they've just crashed the plane, I had no idea where they are. It would have been really, really scary that like. Because even we know where we are and it's like, God, we've walked five and a half miles to get here from down in the valley. Five and a half miles. So yeah, they must have went through a bit of a uh, whoo. But they were like, literally about 100 metres too low. But another 100 metres up and they would have missed that. <sighs> I'll, um, I'll look into the history of it. Apparently it was a flying fortress. So I'll look into the history and put a little bit of history on. Or a link to the Google page, probably easier. Anyway, right, beer o'clock. Rue Barbara Streisand, come to me. Right in the wind, like it's windy as out, but yeah, we're all right. We've got the tents up. Once you get your tent up, don't worry about the wind. So it's uh, that's the that's the wind channel coming that way. But we are sat here, city chatting, beer on. Crags. Seats. <laughs> oh, just watched a lovely sunset go down there. That was nice. Unexpected. It's getting cold though, and when, when the sun goes down, that's when it gets chilly. So I think we'll uh, just sit and just chill out like. And then crack on. One comes out of the eye, nothing out. Nothing. Nothing. Ooh, dear. After last night's shenanigans. Eight o'clock. It's eight o'clock now. Slept well. Nice comfy pitch. It's, uh, the wind never stopped. It got a bit worse actually through the night, but. Yeah, slip through it. A little bit of condensation. It's not as bad as last week. It's still bad enough, that means I'll have to um, dry it out when I get home. It's pitching my front room. It dries out, alright. We'll just not, we'll just gloss past them. Uh, anyway, gonna get the kettle on. Look at my tea. Coffee. Didn't have my tea, didn't eat, didn't eat that. Wasn't hungry. I had a huge breakfast, which kind of kept us going all day. A few bits and nibbles, and no, I yeah, just wasn't hungry. Wasn't feeling it. Still not, to be fair, like I'm not hungry at all. It's a good thing. Get a bit of weight off. Oh, you. Cut along. Mark's ready, he's away. I'm ready. He's off. And he's got his bag there ready. He's there. Rob's just uh, fine tuning, packing. Rob's leaving his. Um, and I was there, my bag's ready. Stuff. It doesn't look very comfortable, but it really is. It's uh, it's spongy, you know, spongy, like a mattress. So it held it in, nice and comfy. 
Here's the crags where we spent the night, hidden, sheltered, spot on. You could go back on the other side, if the wind's coming the other way, you could go around the other side. So, all in all, it's worth finding a top with crags like that on. And you can shelter whatever the weather. Right, so I think, unless anything incredible happens, this will probably be the last bit. Just a word to um, one of my subs, Irving von Luxemburg from America. Thank you for your contribution, buy me a coffee. I had no idea what I was doing with that when I set that buy me a coffee thing up. Not a clue whether it would work or not or anything. And it's like, you don't have to buy us a coffee. <laughs> Basically just there. <clears throat> There's some, something else on my YouTube channel as well, which I don't understand as well. I, I don't know what it is, but I don't know. I'll get my head around it. But no, I'm not, uh, I'm not fussed about the coffee. It's just there for, for the hell of it. But it was nice, nice of him to do that. Much appreciate it. I'll buy you a beer if ever I see you. Right, like I say, if anything incredible happens, bring you back. But feeling that, we'll see you on the next one. Whatever that brings, look at the cloud coming in here. That's the top of the TV up there. That's the wreckage just here. Right, that's enough. So we reckon that, aye, that is the crag we were at, like. Is it? That's the crag, Braden Crags. And we've just walked all the way down. Down, 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 down. All the way down the front there. Zigzagging around the back, down to the bottom of the valley, and we've come along the track behind them, behind that hill there. So that's where that's where we've camped. That's the bizzle on the left, the bizzle. Uh, this is definitely the end, though. We're all ready for beds. Enjoy it, Rob. Yes, hi. It was a uh, feel young pop like Leasing the trail. Especially when we went off. <laughs> <laughs> it's really hard. It's like walking yeah, through deep went snow, went going up there. When we thought, oh, we're not going by the flood track, we're going by the roof. Yeah. Not the track. It was so better. It was like, um, wasn't as windy as I would expect. Oh, yeah, the wind. Well, I mean, it was windy, but. Well, we got out of it. So, advice, a trip, a tip for anybody going up to Braden Crags, go follow the road. Um, just this road along that we're on now. You turn off before Mount Uli. And you go up the track, you go through a gate, and there's a, a fork. The road, the path goes that way, a quad track goes that way. There's a path goes that way, and there's a quad track straight on. So, you take the straight on. We didn't, we went on the path to the right. It was the hardest walk we've ever done. Ended up really in amongst it. So that's it. Till the next one. Yeah. So last week was the hardest walk we've ever done. Yeah, see that every week, <laughs> Steps of terror. For sure, for sure it was one of the hardest walks we've ever done. <laughs> we just do hard walks, don't we? It's not, it's not easy. Drink. 